Hi, this is Chad with Data Springs. Today I wanted to spend just a few minutes highlighting some of the features that Dynamic User Directory 4.0 has. Uh, Dynamic User Directory is a .NET Nuke module um, that can run on DNN 4.9 or higher and has a directory that has a custom template, search, filter, and many, many advanced features um, that are allowed where you can set up a directory of your users. Today I just wanted to highlight some of the features. We actually will have two other short videos that really go into detail on some of the advanced features, the search, things like that. So as I said, uh, one of the benefits of Dynamic User Directory is that you can have a custom template. So you can avoid completely the, the idea of having to have a grid or some sort of, um, of you know, grid of your users. You can have a very custom template. So uh, this custom template can involve search fields of any .NET Nuke profile search. Um, you can have paging, filtering. Um, you can include or exclude different, different users by role. You can um, view the details and have a detail page. Everything is very, uh, very custom. So let's just go into the control panel here and review some of the features that, um, that we'll want to look at. Within the control panel, you're going to see a list of all profile fields, custom profile fields, and you can really make use of these within an, a header template, an item template, and a footer template. Um, every profile field you're going to see will include all extended .NET Nuke profile fields. You can't integrate this with our dynamic registration module, but it's not necessarily required at all. You'll also have a few other profile fields for user roles, um, some things like when the last user was modified, and some other things you can set up within the system for a vCard, a user image, a user online token. All of these tokens can be configured within the control panel here, and you can make use of these within your template. You can just set up how many records you want to be displayed per page. Um, if you want to repeat, since you have options to set up your own template, you can have options to repeat that uh, kind of left to right or um, vertically. Um, you can set up a sort field, um, an additional sort field. So this way you can sort by last name and then username. Um, or, or you know if you wanted two additional sort fields. You can exclude or include by user roles. So maybe you want to exclude administrators or maybe you just want to include everyone who has uh, the uh, SharePoint downloads security role. Um, you can go ahead and define who is allowed to enable and export to Excel of these users. Um, you can also set up paging options. Do you want the user to be able to choose their paging? What page size? Do you want this to be displayed on the top or the left or the right? set up some very basic search options. Do you want there to be a search image or do you want there to be uh, a, a search link? Uh, this can be very helpful on very large implementations. Maximum number of results rendered before search. This can render only 200. So if you had a thousand people or a, let's say a hundred thousand users in the system, you're only going to pull the first 200 which really forces the user to search uh, which can really uh, help with load time and performance user image, user online and offline images. Um, with these settings configured you can define the profile image and a thumbnail size along with if you wanted to enable different jQuery lightbox effects to pop up that that full user image. Um, you can define an alternate thumbnail image if you wanted the user to uh, if the user didn't have an image and there's some alternate user online and offline images you could set up if you use the user online token. Uh, these can really help when you start working and using dynamic user directory for uh, like as a social uh, social media type module. Detail SEO, you can say uh, you can set it up so that when they click on the detail view of a user account, you can change the um, title tags, the description, and the keywords. And these can also include profile fields. So if you were doing a directory of lawyers, you could have. this defined and maybe another profile field 
as the description. Um, this can greatly expand your options for how you want uh, Google or other search engines to see this site for SEO. You can also filter based on any profile field. So maybe you only want to show you know, where state is California. Um, so lots of different options. We've just covered some of the basics. Um, we go into uh, more advanced feature sets and actually implementing and letting you see how those feature sets work versions. Um, so from here, I'll just show you the search area where you would maintain search. Search can be displayed for as many properties as you want, so there's not a limit to the number of search options you can have. You can also choose if you want the user to see these, but you can have contains and begins with, ends with. Um, you can set up extended features so that if you wanted to have a SQL drop-down list, if you wanted the search fields to be a radio buttons instead of a text box or a combo box, um, if the condition should be uh, and or or for the search, um, if it's required, lots of different features that can create very robust search forms. So with that, I'll just take a quick look and show, showcase two um, kind of different uh, types of search forms here. This is at dynregdemo.datasprings.com. And we're just uh, using dynamic registration to register users with a, um, a template that can include We'll come over here. This is a, uh, a vendor site that we work with a lot, PartnerPoint. It's a great website if you're trying to connect with other uh, Microsoft IT companies. And <clears throat> we can just run a search here for business. We'll see how quickly that came up. Um, it did still return 149 records and 15 pages, but the way this is so quick is that dynamic user directory has been tested for performance with you know over 200,000 users. And the way this works is it uses a pivot table within the DNN scheduler and this is created hourly. This keeps a cached copy of a flat table for all user data and the benefit to that is that you're not trying to you know really have to look into that data each and every time. Even if you were able and wanting to search for every single user in this system, you're going to see that it can use Ajax, which can be very, very fast. And yes, it's taking a, yes, it's taking a few seconds here, but um, what you're going to find is that there were 7,000 records, 6,500 records returned. So eight seconds to render 6,500 records really isn't that bad. Um, this is another one of those times where you might want to use that top 500 records. This way it really forces the user to search. The detail page can also use its own custom profile template. Um, I think when, when uh, we were setting up this vendor's detail page, they, they did a great job with highlighting and using the profile fields that come with dynamic user directory and, and integration with, with .NET Nuke. So um, with that, I, I encourage you to go check out the trial version. Check out the uh, dynregdemo.datasprings.com site. And, um, Look forward to uh, look forward to the other videos coming out with highlighting some more of these advanced features and and really showing you as we change things how it changes on the front end. So with that, I'll conclude, and I appreciate you taking the time to check out this video.